Church in Grant County looking for a place to hold Sunday services after a fire destroys the building. It's quiet weather out there right now with a mostly cloudy sky, but it is so humid. We're going to have some showers and thunderstorms coming up later on today. And a family facing a monthly fine if a playhouse is not removed. What the family has to say about this situation coming up on Fox 16 Good Day. It's all, it all starts right now. Live from your breaking news leader, the Fox 16 Good Day Arkansas starts now. Good morning. Glad you can join us here on Fox 16 Good Day. I'm Suzanne Bruner. And I'm Pat Walker. It's just us two today. Just the two of us here today. Yeah. Natalie is still on maternity still. leave. Still. I mean, it's been like, what, two weeks? <laughs> really? I got to see her yesterday. She's doing I good. I saw that. Jealous. Leo is getting a little bigger. Is he's he still, getting bigger? He's getting a little bigger. He's still tiny, but. Is he riding yeah. his bike yet or anything? No, not, not that far <laughs> along yet. He's not two yet. weeks and a day old today. Yeah. Two weeks and a day today. I was telling her that we've been missing her her daily dose of Leo every morning. She mm -hmm. needs to send more pics. So. And I miss her in general. I miss having Natalie Me around too. here. Yeah. Yeah. She says she's tuning in though. So hi, Natalie. Hey, good morning, Nat. Nat. Home. So um, yeah, felt a little humid this morning, huh? Uh, no, it actually was a lot humid. A lot. <laughs> a humid. lot. Yeah. Is it going to continue it, throughout the day? Yeah, yeah. It's not going anywhere, and uh, it's it's late May now, so mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and sit down, grab a Snickers. It's going to be a while. This humidity, <laughs> it's going to stick <laughs> what around. You're In fact, about. look at the uh, humidity. What it's causing this morning. We were kind of mostly clear to partly cloudy, and now this clouds really have filled up our sky uh, this morning. Uh, so it's already uh, mostly cloudy, and it looks like we're going to kind of stay that way for the rest of the day. It's 77 in Little Rock right now. The heat index is 78. It's not that much higher because the temperature is down lower. It's 77 in Little Rock. Look at Searcy, Stuttgart, Batesville, all at 73. Look at Mina, huh? 79 degrees. And it is, these temperatures haven't really dropped at all. Yesterday's high was 85. But these dew points are in the 70s. It's 72 dew point right now in Little Rock. The temperature will never be lower than the dew point. It may be the same, but never lower. Uh, and because of these dew points are in the 70s, it's kept it so warm overnight. Now on the other side, it won't heat up as quickly today, but we'll eventually see those mid 80s and a chance of thunderstorms as well. We're going to look at those thunderstorms coming up in your complete forecast a little bit later on. Right now, though, let's go ahead and look at your traffic this morning that we have here in the city. And uh, not a whole lot going on just yet, but you know, it is still a little early at a 702 right now. We're looking at a, a little bit of slow traffic already at the north interchange this morning. Uh, showing up and also down on the down I 30 eastbound right around Reynolds Road. A little slow traffic beginning to show up there as well. That's your traffic. Let's get on to Suzanne for a look at our news. Well, we now know why a probation officer was arrested on an attempted sexual assault charge. And Victoria Price is here in the studio to look at those accusations that he's facing. Victoria. Hey, good morning, guys. We first told you about Jeffrey Everett's sexual assault charge last week, but now we've learned the 59 year old is also being accused of abusing his position in exchange for sexual favors from his probationers. These allegations coming out of Lone Oak County, a search warrant revealing that Everett supposedly touched one of his female probationers inappropriately and sent her explicit text messages. In return, Everett's helped that woman land jobs in his cabin in Lone Oak District Court offices. She told state police she let it happen because she feared if she resisted, Everett's would put her in jail. But even after the alleged victim quit and got another job, she claims Everett's continued to stalk her. Now, the Lone Oak County prosecutor believes there are more victims out there and expects additional charges to come out of White County, where Everett's was also contracted to do probation. Suzanne. Victoria, thank you so much. Well, North Little Rock police arrest a man they say confessed to robbing a bank Wednesday morning. Detectives say 55 year old Henry Brooks held up U.S. Bank on East Roosevelt. The report shows Brooks handed the teller a note saying, quote, give me the money and no one will get hurt. Brooks told detectives he got the money, went home and hid the cash in his bed. A man who robbed a dollar store last week in Little Rock is facing six counts of aggravated robbery. Police say Jesse Jackson Jr. robbed the Dollar General store on Roosevelt Road last week using a silver revolver and a red laser light. Jackson is being held without bond. As investigators try to find out what caused a Grant County church to burn down, the congregation is coming together to pick up the pieces. The Poyan Missionary Baptist Church caught fire Tuesday night. It took seven crews from across Grant County to get the flames under control. While church's members and staff say it's discouraging, they're not letting it keep them down. 
there was flames coming out of the glass and flames coming out of the back door. There's nothing. It was. There's nothing we could do. That building is replace is replaceable. We're the church. These, and you know, that's one thing that I try to teach our kids. You're the church. The pastor says they are working on finding a spot to hold Sunday services. He also says they intend to rebuild Poyan Missionary Baptist Church. Starting today, a Saline County family could be fined $150 a month because of a playhouse. Michelle Campbell and her husband built a playhouse for their son last summer. Well, months later, they heard complaints from their neighbors, uh, the, the neighborhood's property owners association board, which calls it an unapproved structure. And now the board is calling for the family to get rid of the playhouse. Campbell says several of her neighbors have told her they have no problem with it, and it's actually not the only playhouse in the area. What they're doing is selective enforcement, and they're not enforcing the rules to, you know, to force anybody else to tear it down except for us. <laughs> Campbell says she has no intentions to take it down. In a Fox 16 money alert. Attention graduating seniors and parents, time is running out to apply for the Arkansas Lottery Scholarship. The deadline is June 1st. Both traditional and non-traditional students are encouraged to apply. Since it began in 2009, the Arkansas Lottery has awarded more than $573 million in proceeds for scholarships to college students. To apply online, just visit our website, fox16.com. We've provided a link for you. Just search for that story. Well, City Year and Hall High School are teaming up to make a three-year commitment to help equip young people with the tools to enter adulthood and contribute to the community. The cost of the commitment is $150,000. City Year will begin the partnership with Hall High in the fall. The idea is to have city members become part of the Hall High family. Hall High graduate General Wesley Clark says it will give those who need it a leg up. And students at Terry Elementary are honored for their good grades. Governor Asa Hutchinson visited the school one day to personally congratulate the students for their outstanding test scores and even gave the school a $35,000 check from the state. Wow. It's a lot of money. Terry's students improved test scores by 5% from the previous year. The school has earned this recognition from the state three years in a row and plans to use the cash to buy laptops for third graders. I'm sure they're very excited about that. Definitely needed in the classroom. All right, time right now is 7.07. We've got a couple of things trending online this morning. One of them coming out of California. There was a uh, fraternity and sorority group out there uh, from Oregon, but they were out of this California lake. Well, it looks like after they left, they didn't clean up after their mess. So what happened? Dozens of workers spent at least five hours cleaning up about a half a mile wide pile hmm. of trash. No They picked way. up trash, empty bottles, 90 tents, coolers, uh, human waste, and much no, more. Are you yeah. kidding me? Much more. Uh, you you got to look at this uh, on the Facebook page. This is in a, the lake, right? This is the lake. Uh, mm. The University of Oregon says it is investigating whether other fraternities or sororities were responsible. You know, the Rangers say they're unsure whether the area will be ready for Memorial Day weekend. Wow. But after hearing about that, you know, as a family, it's like, I don't know if I'd want to go out to that specific location after yeah. finding all that stuff there. All that junk and trash and just. Nastiness left behind. My wow. Gosh, yeah. Carol says they should have to clean it up and also be fined. Mm -hmm. I guess the school is going to do an investigation, kind of find out who all is involved in. I would be surprised if there is a fine coming down of the road from them from this. She mm -hmm. says Carol goes on to say this is littering, and try and they should. They are old enough to know better, and the school should take action against them. Look, yeah, at, look at these pictures. This is a piece of the flip flops and stuff. You know, they're out there partying. Mm -hmm. You know what college the students do? They're just they're smashed drunk and they just don't care. <laughs> that's what it, I mean. That's what they're doing. Tents, Come on. Ninety tents left behind. Oh, they left their tents. Yes. Hey, a tent 90. sale down at Shasta Lake, everybody. Some coolers. Hey, yeah. Hey, if you're going to leave trash behind, don't leave your fraternity letters on your cooler. That's a dead giveaway. Tell you right now, our Kansans would be very upset if that happened in our natural yeah, state. Yeah, that's Tell absolutely that. right. I so, think I think if that happened in Arkansas, ugh. I would think that people would want those fraternities or sororities to lose their. Was it a charter that you have with the school? I whatever. Think so. You have an actual right to exist at the school. I bet people would push them to like, yeah, oh, yeah. get rid of the fraternity altogether. Clean up after your mess. That's something people don't want to see.
Yeah. So let us know what you think about this. You can read the entire story on our Fox 16 Facebook page. This is trending online this morning. Connect with us. We'll read some of your comments later in the show. Well, time to plan for your summer vacation, and we have got the perfect staycation for you in our own backyard. Get your bicycles ready. We are learning more about the Razorback Regional Greenway with Ginger coming up after the break. And we do have the clouds already rolling into our sky this morning. Such a warm, muggy start to the day. Nothing on pinpoint radar right now. However, that will be changing later today. I'm going to have your forecast coming up after the break. Mosquito.